Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is an intumescent cataract with hard nucleus. The patient is too old to cooperate. The eye is under peribulbar anesthesia, but the patient is moving his head a lot. At this time, I am doing a mini rexis, it is done and now I try to aspirate some cortical lens matter. And suddenly the patient moves his head. The patient is above 80 years old. and patient is not able to follow instructions. After injecting visco, I made a cut at the margin of the menorexis. Now, see how many times I had to stop during enlargement of the menorexis. I had to come out now I go for a distance and again the patient moves his head and the patient is coughing. The patient had no problem in the preparation room. The patient was not coughing was okay but on the operating table the patient is coughing a lot. At this time I decide to sedate the patient to some extent. So I asked my anesthetist to if it is possible to give intravenous diazepam and about one cc of intravenous diazepam was administered but see what happens as I try to chop this hard nucleus this is what I call submarine chop. As I try to chop this, suddenly the patient moves his head. I could not take any more chance. So what I do is at this time, I inject visco and the take a break. The patient was seated and after a while again the patient lay down again the eye was cleaned and fresh dripping was done inject visco and now I go again with the tip of the FACO handpiece at this time the patient is coughing a little less but still the patient is moving his head a lot. I could not chop the nucleus, I just made a trench or a tunnel. Here I increased the exposed part of the phaco tip and here it is. I go and chop this hard nucleus and this is a nice crack and this is the initial crack before taking the break and this is another good crack and now here I can see endonucleus. So 
I wanted to remove this endonucleus. Here it is. The endonucleus is removed. Uh, here I caught the margin of the people. The people has come down, but still it is manageable. The size of the people is about six millimeter at this time. If this dilatation remains, I can manage this case. And here, the suddenly the head moves again, and I had to come out. And now I knew when to come out as soon as the patient becomes you know restless just before that I could come out now I inject go again and emulsify this large piece of hard nucleus again I come out patient is in recent times in about two three years I have not come across such uncooperative patient the patient was okay in the preparation room and, and none of us could think that this will happen when the patient is lying down in the operating table on the operating table and here it is almost done so at this time I come out decrease the exposed part of the tip of the phaco needle inject some visco here I decrease the exposed part. Some visco has been injected, and now I'm still in FECO two of FECO two position where the vacuum is 450, floor rate is 45. But after emulsifying half of this. Yes. And now I ask my assistant to go to FECO on where the vacuum is only 80 millimeter of mercury and flow rate is 25 and ultrasonic energy is about 70. The small nuclear beads have come out through the side port the patient the posterior capsule is okay no rent cortical cleanup was done with a simco cannula and then hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens was done the lens was nicely placed in the capsular bag this is rotation of the lens or dialing of the lens by the irrigating probe itself and then uh, the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of these stab wounds a final lavage with the BSAS is done the capsular bag is also irrigated The people is D shaped because I caught the margin of the people at seven o'clock. But there is no trauma to the no shaping of this trauma. And now the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. So this was a very uncooperative patient. The patient was actually too old to cooperate patient had some cough and I had a very tough time in the operating table 
at this time we must keep our calmness and we must not even if we are nervous we not we must not show it to our staffs to our assistants because if they also become nervous then it becomes a very tricky situation so thank you very much for your attention